this is Kian Success. I'm Mr. Big Up Dancing Tear. And they are only cool. Put, 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 put it down. Put it down, put it down. Tell them dancing clear, I put it down. Sweet. They dance from the corner and we put it on Showing at the area and we put it on Go so Welcome, welcome, welcome YouTubers to another edition of Dancing Clear Quick Fire Interviews, right? I'll be your host for today, Sean Etisa Just big up yourself Dancing Clear and big up yourself from Rula Cooley, you don't know, yeah? Now, who we have here people? Who do we have here? one of Jamaican's golden voices, none other than the golden vocals of the man named Carl, Mr. A.J. Franklin. Yes, yes. boy, respect, yeah, right, right. every time, you know. Good, <laughs> yes, good, 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 good. Nice to be here, you know. Yeah, respect. Nice to be here. All right. Now we've got this little quick fire interview, and I'm going to fling some questions at the fast yeah. pass. All yes. right. Keep yeah. it short and spicy. Okay, A.J., um, what, what, what age did you get into the music, brother? Well, to be honest with you, Starting, uh, I start out as a church day, you know, really, you know, you know parents used to go to church, but I would follow them. And now from there, school. Okay. Normally, from the school age, you know, just as I say, um, so starting from the church age, you know, you find so from around 10, 12, 12 years from this, 12 year old at, okay. from the church, from leaving from there, yeah. school, mm -hmm. I started doing a few things here at school, and, you know, me and, and a matter of fact, some of the artists that do these things. At a um, start with the school, you with Ronnie Davis and all some of those guys, you know. Okay, yeah. You know, so it, it's from early, early days, really, you know. All uh, right. So, what's, what's, what's your style of music? How do you describe your style of music? Well, you know, funny stuff, you know. At the, it's reggae, but it's like a slightly crossover, you know. Okay. Well, like with soul, soul it's, vibe? Yeah, soul, soul vibe with, mixed with, with, with reggae, you know. All right, all right. So, tell me something, when you, when you were back in Jamaica, all right. Did you buy any music? And if you did buy music, what, what was the first single that you ever bought? What's the first well, song you ever buy? I tell you, honestly, we used to um, mostly buy the American songs, really, to get to get some vibes yeah. off, you know, really, you know? Yeah, yeah. Temptation, okay. stylistics, and, you know, Sam Cook, those are, you know, to get wow. some, you know? Uh, All right. right, so where, where in Jamaica you come from, brother? Yeah? Well, I was born in Westmoreland, but grew up in Kingston, you know? Okay. And that's where I start my career in, in, uh, in uh, you know, in Kingston here. And um, I used to, the first group that I sang was um, a group called the Federals. Okay. Um, myself, Scotty, DJ Scotty, and Junior Soul. Mm -hmm. And we do uh, quite a few songs here, but our biggest song with that group, my biggest song with that group was a song called Penny for Your Song. Okay. I don't know if you know that song. I know. Penny for Your Song, yeah. Penny for your song, yeah, 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 yeah. you know, and after that, one of the members have to um, go to America to live with his parents, so, okay. and as a youth, you know, where, wherever your parents go, you have to <laughs> follow, <laughs> follow. Yeah. so that's where that group split up, really, in a sense, so, mm -hmm. 19, about 1970 now, mm -hmm. myself and Noel Bunny Brown, yeah, formed a group, chose a few, you know, well, chose a few, yeah, ah. and with Scotty again, and um, mm -hmm. Busty Brown, yeah. Harold Brown. Yeah. Funny enough, I was the only one out there without without the Brown. See. That was um Busty Brown, Harold Brown and Bunny Brown. So <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> <laughs> mm. oh, right. You know, so and oh. you know, from there on chose if you never really look back, you know. Yeah man, big bang. With with the outstanding help of Derek Harriet, you know? Yeah. Because Derek Harriet helped us to put us on top really. You okay. Know? And okay. you know the songs them that we had in that time, you know, you're a big girl, you know, Queen Majesty, yeah. and Ebony Eyes, and yeah, 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 Shaft, the list goes on. Yeah, you know? man, all them great songs, yeah, man, all them great on. songs. So, um, did, you, did, you ever, um, did you ever work on sound system? Not really, no. No? No. Did, did you apart, apart from making dub, you know? Okay. So, yeah, but not actually working on it, no. But did you have a favorite sound system you used to follow, even though you never work on sound system well, in that kind of way? In Jamaica at the time, you know, we used to follow um, Cox and so on, you know? Ah, uh, yeah, yes, you know? man. You know? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, so, do you have um, any favorite artists that you, that you love listening to? Yes, man. Yeah. There is a man, Dennis Brown, mm -hmm. and because you see, Dennis was was with us in with Derek Harrett and Derek Harrett label. Yeah. You know, move on groove, you know? Yeah. So you grew up to really like 
you know, outstanding, very similar is a good friend too, you know, so. That's cool. He's a, and a very talented singer. Yeah, definitely. You know, yeah, yeah. yeah. Big up Father Bears. Yeah, man, yeah. yeah, man, every time, you know. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so, um, what, what, what's the last event that you played at? Well, um, the last event that I played was about, uh, about three months, four months ago mm -hmm. in Africa, you know. Wow. Yes. Wow. You know, Where in Africa? Yeah. Um, uh, in, in, in Ghana. Ah. You know, okay. in, in Ghana, dear, you know, so, mm -hmm. um, and that was nice. That was very nice, mm -hmm. very nice. Be different and comparing to what we used to hear, you know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, man. yeah. But that was in Accra, you know, Accra in Ghana. Yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah. Tell me something. I saw you perform. You say three months ago, but I saw you sooner than that. Or maybe time has flown yeah. because you performed at the High Commission for um, Count Prince Miller at his funeral. Oh right, 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 right. right. Yes, yes, yes. That was a little touch, really, you know. And um, we got here just to um, support the thing because Count Prince Miller and we go a long way back mm -hmm. from Jamaica, you know. Okay. And you were just sad to know that he passed away. You yeah. know, so, but what can we do? You know, just one of those things. Yeah. Really. And I, it was nice being there too. Do something there, you know. I didn't realize you was here, you know. At, at the, you know, because everybody didn't go to the reception part of it. Yes, know? everybody yes. just go to the church and go. Yeah, so, yeah, so. Yeah. And we didn't see everybody, but um, we done good. We yeah, done man, good. I saw you, man. It was yeah. nice, man. It, <laughs> yeah. was, it was, it was really nice. Yeah. Cause, was you in Black Heroes together? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm in Black Heroes from its start. Okay. From the day one until you know it's finished away between oh, right. you. So. Seeing you there as well, yes. performing all over the world with yes. that play, you know. Oh right? yeah, man! And coming back to see even Terror here, now yeah, yeah. it brings back memories because he was in it too at the same from start, you know. Mm -hmm. For those who don't know, Black Heroes is 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 a cultural play that ran many many years ago. Got history of black, uh, 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 it, it, about black culture mm -hmm. and our great heroes and our great sheroes. And what what did what did you do in um, in well, the play? Exactly? I was playing more than one part. I was mm -hmm. singing in the choir. I was playing um, Sam and Dave myself and Winston Francis. Oh, okay, yeah. And whenever anybody drop out, I, um, I could make it. Mm -hmm. I was playing Booker T and Washington. Booker uh, T Washington. Yeah, so yeah. it was a big strain, you know. So we just was just one of them things, really. Mm -hmm. Great play, okay. great play, you know. Yeah, man. Great play. Definitely. So have you ever, have you always been a musician, or uh, uh, did you do ever did uh, you have a trade? Or? Uh, I always been a musician. Yeah. Okay. So let me throw this at you then. If you wasn't doing music, what do you think you'd be doing? You know, funny enough, you know, when I was growing up, before your music, and I, I always used to go to my uncle's garage or so in, in, in Jamaica. Okay. Just go here to see Healy Man, gone to school, you know, yeah. and I always watch what they, they're doing. Okay. And say, so, well, one day I want to be a mechanic, you know. <laughs> you know, but it didn't turn out that way. Yeah, well, you know? You know? Mm, with you that know, voice there, you can fix it. You, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know? But um, it's just one of them things. Yeah. You know? Okay. So, tell me, if you, if you could go back in time, what, what would you do differently? Or would you do anything differently? I don't think so, because I, I, I love music. Yeah. I love music. I just stick with the program, you know? Mm -hmm. I just stick with it, you know? Okay. Mm. So, if you, if you had the power to change three things um, within the industry, in the music industry, what, what kind of changes do you think you would make? What I see these days, really, in a sense, you know, and um, it's the only thing I would maybe change is just see sometimes the lyrics that people sing in some of the songs, really, mm -hmm. because some of them is not really into, um, encouraging the youths, you know? True, true. You know, so I'll change, change that, really, and set it set it in a bit of um, standard, really, you know? Mm -hmm. So it's just one of them things. We need to really, uh, whether we're, it's like preaching, if we're preaching anything, whether we preach something that you know that. It's encouraging to not only to you but everybody really in a sense, you know? Yeah. yeah as far yeah. as even this day, you know, boy, we need some love in the place really, you know? Well, wow, definitely. Yeah man, we need definitely. some love in the place really in a sense, you know. We can't just get over with you and decide that we're gonna do the ceremony and you know, say so it's not making any sense. Mm. You know? Definitely. Definitely. So, um what 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 music personally when you're chilling in your yard or you're driving your car, what have you been listening to recently? I, you know, funny. When I'm indoors, really, you know, I hardly listen to my. I don't really listen to my things, really, you know, but I do really. Okay. I always maybe listen to other artists, you know. Yeah. What type of artists? You know? It can be berries. It can be any other artist, you know. Okay. But I just, 
I'm just, I'm, so I listen to some of the DJ music too because um, the DJ music have its place, you know? Yeah, yeah. All definitely. of us can really sing and all of us mm -hmm. can DJ, so we have to admit it, and, you know, because some of the music, DJ music is well put together. Yeah. That sounds good. Yeah, definitely. Good. Yeah. Now, AJ, I know you've got some powerful songs, some great songs, some songs that, that you play at weddings and mm -hmm. some songs that, that really, like my, like my cousin yeah. Rosie would say, you know what I mean, to baby to. Which which song are you most proud of? Out of, out I, I, of think, I, I think, to be honest with you, you're a big girl now. Okay. Because you're a big girl now, what one of our biggest songs, even in Jamaica, you know? Yeah. Followed by Ebony Eyes, okay. Queen Majesty, yeah. and Shaft, you know? But yeah. you're a big girl now was the one that mostly put the food on the table, you know? Oh, right. Yeah. So this is a question that we usually ask at Don Sinclair. If you could put a band together, all right, um, musicians, vocalists, who would be in your band, alive or past and gone? You who mean would, no band? Or yeah, if you could make a band yes. from all the musicians that you appreciate in our, in our life. I know it's a bit difficult, whether I know the, you appreciate the past, artists, past, but who would be in your band? Whether the past or... Yeah, whether the past or, or, or living. <laughs> <laughs> Well, to be honest, there were some brilliant music uh, musicians I played with. You know, you played with the, um, you have some of the guys from um, you know, Generation mm -hmm. that play Ebony Eyes and Caribbean Girl play. And believe him, I wish I could see those guys now to really um, play with me on stage, really, okay. sense, you know. So, yeah, yeah. there's quite a few, quite a few. Okay. Quite a few. Mm. Okay. Um, you ever get nervous before a performance or anything like this? Early days, but not really right now, mm -hmm. you know, because I think you get used to it as you go along, really, you know? Yeah. You, you get used to it as you go along, really, you know? And, but early days, you, you have that little tingling, really, yeah. you know what I mean? The butterflies. Yes, right? yes. Yeah. yeah. Or unless you go and stay, now you realize that something not right, and you wonder, because sometimes you get a bit nervous -ish when you realize that, um, I don't like the sound of this. PA system and, mm -hmm. and you feel like one day if I'm gonna go out there and sound okay. over it, you know, yeah, yeah. using it. And sometimes you go out there and it just get better sometimes, you know. So you have to go along yeah. with it and do the best you can. You okay. know? But those are the things that sometimes make you get a bit nervous because okay. you, you, everybody every artist wants to know when you go out there, things is right. Yeah, things is right, you know. Perfection. Yes, yes. Okay. So if you make a mistake or something like this, how you handle mistakes? Well, you just add lib, you know? Just <laughs> add lib and try to get yourself out of it, you know? True. And sometimes half of the time people don't know that really that was a mistake really because yeah. you pull, pull it off, you know? Mm -hmm. And it happened to mostly uh, most singers really at all, you know? Yeah. It's a funny way up, you know? Mm -hmm. So, um, do you have any advice for any up and coming artists? Well, um, what I would advise every up and coming artist right now is to make sure that contracts that they sign, mm -hmm. they read through it first. I give um, some official people, lawyers, to read first. I don't sign everything because sometimes you sign your life away. Yeah. You know, and you know, just don't look, just don't um, used to just this thing. Also, get to understand the business side of it, you know? Yeah, definitely. The publishing right. and the, mm -hmm. what, the yeah, what is due to you, really. Yeah, yes, yeah, because some people sing and then all of a sudden you find that boy, that person have my song now out there, and maybe, maybe mm. it's a deal that you sign. Yeah. So make sure that parties don't sign everything until you get it checked up properly to know what you is best for you, you know? Yeah. So in, in this day and age, you got yeah. ringtone, you That's make money right. from holy putting where you yeah, make money yeah, from. Yeah, so. because a lot of artists before, too, you know, they make that mistake, too, you know, and eventually they catch up, but there's a lot of parts that what they could, mm -hmm. uh, you know? Yeah. yeah that man. makes perfect sense. So. Look into the future. I yeah. know your your career extensive and hit yeah, after yes. hit after hit. But what what what, what can we expect uh, from well, you for the future, I, brother? I, no, right at this moment, you know, I'm I'm finishing off our album, really. You know? Yeah. And hopefully, when it come out, it might reach, you know, go international. You know, and things like that. You know, mm -hmm. so that's what I'm doing. So early next year, it will be on the road. You know. Nice. Early, that's you know? nice, that's nice. Do you have a title for it yet? No, no, okay. no, because um, there are some of the certain songs on it I want to maybe use one of those, songs, but not it's a title come in my mind, you know. But um, you know, the other day was thinking on the civil war, I'm gonna give this album a, the name, um, AJ Franklin Franklin Years. Oh, okay, and I said, mm -hmm. oh, Well, wait until I finish, you know, yeah, until yeah. you get it right, you know, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, but early next year. I'll be out here with something, you know? Huh. 
So, that's it, brother. <laughs> yeah, man, it's nice to be here, you know? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, more than welcome. That's yeah, what we love. So, that's what we're doing here. We're documenting the yes. greatest artists yes. from Jamaica to the UK. But yeah. right now, this man here, this man here, AJ Franklin, one of the greatest. So, people who don't know get to know, but I'm sure you know already. So, from Don Sinclair and all YouTube family, we're just going to say big up. Mr. Franklin, and yeah. thanks for coming along. Yes, my respect. And we're going to be out of here till the next time. Yeah, man. Thanks for having me, man. No respect. problem, brother. Boom. See you next time, people. Big yes. it up.